last spot. back to the channel the poissons we have a guest here we have Devin and we're doing yes. the yeah cuz you're not in every video <laughs> we're doing the gender prediction test different old wife <laughs> we're doing different old wives tales no wives wives <laughs> tales wives it's old wives no yes Old wives' tales. No, wives. 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 Yeah. It's old wives. 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 Not old wives' tales, it's old yeah. wives' tales. Oh, yeah. Old wives' tales. I was right. Wives' tales. No, it's not wise. Okay. So we have the nine different tests that we're going to test. So the first test is the string test. So you take my ring and you put it on a string. You gotta tie it. Well, hold the other end, it's just gonna fall. And then what? Tie it. So I'm not gonna tell him what boy or girl means just so he's not no, biased. Tie. Is there a certain way to tie it? Or just no, you just tie, tie it. <laughs> Okay, so I had to lay down, so I'm gonna lay down, because you do it over the stomach. <laughs> this is a good, it's a double knot. Okay, so I'm gonna lay down. You have to stand up. You gotta do it over my belly. So, circle, or if it goes back and forth. I'm not gonna tell you if it's boy or girl, because okay, I don't want you to be by it. Make I'm sure. biased. Whatever, just in case. Make sure you turn for the camera. No, she Sit. Go, go. And do it over my belly. Like, and just hold it. Let me see where it goes. It changed when it got closer. What is it doing? It's like not moving. It's gotta come up a little bit. It's gotta be right on your belly button. What do you mean I have to, I don't have to take my shirt off? What well, is no. This? Just so it's there. Circle. It's in circles? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. I have to do the next one first because it's pretty much the same. Do I have to take this off? Yeah. Okay. So the next one is, so this is not part of like the old wives tales. I never saw this on the internet, but it's very similar to the string test. But my mom's been doing this since I'm a little girl. And you test how many kids you're gonna have by pretty much doing the same thing. It's a little different. I hold my hand like this. And you go one, two, three. You go above and it's the same thing. Is it circle? or is it back and forth? But you keep going until it stops because it's supposed to tell you how many kids you're gonna have as well. So, wait. so you do the first round, one, two, three, over. It'll either go circle, back and forth. Then you do it, clear it, and then you do it again, and it'll do circle, back and forth. And then you do it again until it stops. When it completely stops, that's it. it's supposed to be like, that's how many kids that you're gonna have. 
as well. So it changes the oh. Do you see what I'm saying? It tells you boy and girl, or girl, and but it also tells you how many kids you're supposed to have. But it's not gonna stop. Yes, it will. Okay. Get in touch with your okay. intuition. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you gotta know, make sure, like, you don't have it moving. Okay, go. Let's do this. No, no. Go all the way, like, one, like this. One, two, and then three, and then go over my palm. And this is how you clear it to make it, like, stuff. Every time? Every time. But until. No, no. Alright, here we go. Okay. So clear it. the jewelry test because I don't know what it's called my mom's been doing it since I'm little I've watched her do it to people all the time so for the string test circle is girl so one point for girl and then the jewelry test it was back and forth twice so it's boy but it's weird because when my mom did it she, I always like my mom's always done it on me she's always gets girl first boy and then nothing so count that as but we'll just count the one that you did as boy. As one? No, because it's the jewelry test. It's a different test. Yeah, yeah, but just one each. Just Not one. Two. Yeah, just one. Okay. Okay, so the third one is the heartbeat, which we had over 150, 160, so that's girl. Because it's anything over 140, so one for girl. Then the fourth test is acne is girl, glowing is boy. So everyone says I'm glowing, but that one's boy because I don't really have acne. I do have two spots from yesterday, but I haven't had acne like this whole pregnancy. And also I am gonna be 20 weeks on Thursday. So we find out, I have my appointment the 29th and the 30th because the military has you do two appointments and we'll get the envelope for if it's a boy or a girl because we're doing a gender reveal. Hold on, so, so we got two two right now. But yeah. Wait, two each? Oh, yeah. So the fifth test is morning sickness, which I didn't really have. So uh, that is boy. Then the Chinese gender reveal, which I did that, and it's on the computer, and it was girl. I can show you. Let me get my computer. You want me to show you? <laughs> so it's on, I think, the What to Expect app. So what it goes, it goes by the day you can, the age that you conceive, and then your due date. His gender predictor. You're doing it again. Well, to show you. So I'm 29. This is one. This one's from Baby Center. I might have to find the other one though. See that? <laughs> so no, but that's different. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna count the one that I saw. Hold on. It said boy, but we're gonna do the one that I originally did. Conception day. Oh my gosh. Where is the what to expect? Oh. Okay, so it's the what to expect one that I did. So it acts as your due date, 13th, and then my birthday. See? Prediction. See? It says girl. Congratulations, according to the legendary Chinese gender chart, you're having a girl. Sure. I'll, I'm gonna do it like a screenshot. Okay, right, so three, three. We're in a tie, we're in a tie. Is this, how many more we got? I made it nine, so it'll be a tiebreaker. In Chinese medicine and acupuncture, if you have a bigger pulse on the left side, it's a boy. If your pulse is stronger on the right side, it's a girl. So I had my best friend do it. was left, which is boy. <laughs> and I did it too, right? And it was boy? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Alright, 
four, three. Okay, so now we do, well, we'll do this one and then we'll do that one last. Am I more moody or mellow? So this one's hard because I feel mellow. like I, I'm more mellow because I'm definitely a moody person in general. So that's boy. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Five to three. Okay, so the next test is that we're doing is the bump, is your bump high or low? So we'll look at my bump. It's high or low? I think it's high because I feel like yeah. low would be right here. Thick and low. Yeah. So we're gonna say no. Or high. high. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so high. we're gonna say high. Yeah, yeah. For that. So oh, that's girl. High. Yeah. Okay. So the winner is boy. So with our gender prediction test, are you so happy? We'll see. <laughs> So it says boy. This is obviously old wives tales, not wise. This is just for fun, but I wanted to see if what it would come out. And I thought it was gonna come out girl, but it said boy. I want a girl. And you wanna say what you want? Uh, <laughs> he wants a boy. He yeah, but boy. I don't think I'll mind either way. But we'll find out very soon. Pre are you happy that it says boy? <laughs> So there were other tests too. They had like a pee test and you put like baking soda in it and if it fizzes it's boy, but I feel like baking soda would react to urine naturally, wouldn't it? Cause it's fuzzy. Anyway. It's pretty close. So then they had sweet or salty, but I don't crave anything. I don't crave salt or sweet. Isn't that, isn't that one too? If you crave stuff. Well, it's it, it, cause if it's salty, it's boy. If it's I mean, sweet, it's general. girl. If you have high cravings, isn't that the one? I don't know, because this is the test, salty or sweet. And then they had a temperature one, but my temperature is pretty normal. I mean, I'm cold, but it's winter, so, but that's boy, anyway. So that is our test, all the tests that we did. We did nine different tests. I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in another video. Bye.